Hi, I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking. In this segment, I'm going to demonstrate engine and pump priming. We're, we're going to use an in-the-pan pump, such as this small block Chevrolet pump, driven off the distributor by an intermediate shaft at half the engine speed. First, submerge the pump in clean engine oil. Rotate the shaft the correct direction so that oil comes out the outlet of the pump. Now you know your pump's going to pump oil. Drain the pump and install it on your engine. Next, we're going to fill the oil filter with oil. Then you'll install it on your engine. We will install an oil pressure gauge at the port where the oil pressure switch goes so we can check our pressure when we're priming it. And last, we will install the priming tool into the block. Okay, in most engines, this can take a few minutes to get the oil up through the push rod to the rocker arm, so be patient. Uh, our pressure's good down here. You're gonna see the engine oil come out the tip of these rocker ar ar arms here where these holes are on each of these areas here. Okay, this engine's pretty well primed and all set to go. The second type of pump I'm gonna prime in this segment is the over-the-crank pump. These pumps fit over the crankshaft, can't be driven with the priming tool. So Melling's solution to that is the MPL 101 priming tool. This tank holds four quarts of oil, pour it in, take the air chuck, pressure the tank up, turn the valve on, oil's fed in through the oil pressure port where the oil pressure switch would go. This lubricates the bearings, lubricates the lifters, lubricates the rocker arms, and all the parts of the engine that have oil pressurized to them. Don't forget to turn the engine 360 degrees, and it's a good idea to fill the oil filter prior to doing this. And remember, never start a newly rebuilt engine without first priming it. Never. I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking.